Hi everyone, Miss Nicole here, and we're here to continue talking about careers. So I know that at this point we've talked about multiple intelligences or the different learning styles that we all have and how oftentimes those learning styles can inform or help us decide what we'd like to do as we get older. So I know we've all talked a little bit about careers, but you might be still wondering what is a career and is it different from a job? Now, oftentimes people use the word career and job interchangeably, meaning that they're two, but oftentimes people say they have this name. Actually, they're a little bit different or a lot different, but I feel that I could explain it, but I found this video that I thought explains it even better. So I thought I would share that with you first, and then we'll talk a little bit more about careers, okay? So this video here is called, What is the Difference Between a Job and a Career? Job, career. These are just two words that mean the same thing, right? Things like grocery store and supermarket. Market and this one. Not quite. While a lot of people might use both words to describe the same thing, there are important differences. Let's dig deeper into the terms job and career. Both terms are about being employed, being paid for your work. A job typically refers to what you're getting paid to do today, while a career typically refers to your lifelong ambition. So you might have a job as a cashier at a fast food restaurant to earn money today, but your career goal is to work in counseling for families. In this case, your job isn't directly related to your career, but you will earn valuable skills and you earn the money you need to help pay for college. In the past, many people had the same job for most of their life, so their job was their career, but that isn't as common today. Most people, especially teens like you, will have seven to 10 jobs in their lifetime, which means that the specific job you have might be changed many times in your life. But if you know what career you want, every job you take can help you do more and more of the work you want to do. If you know you want a career in construction, the key is to get the first job so you start to build experience. Then grow your skills and continue to look for jobs that give you the opportunities that you want. And sometimes we discover the careers we want through the experience of a job. Perhaps you are a cashier at a fast food restaurant and you realize you like working in the food service industry. Cashier today, regional manager of dozens of restaurants in the future. So a job and career aren't the same, but they should be connected. When you know the career you want, Look for the job opportunities that help you get there. Like I said, I hope that helps us understand the difference because they are similar, but they're not quite exact. I'm going to go back to that presentation, okay? And we'll take a look at something else. So, there we go. So oftentimes when it comes to a career, you may have seen that people carry business cards or a little tiny card that gives contact information, their job and who they are. Now, oftentimes on a business card, what people include are their name, the business name that they work for, whether it's their own business or a business that a company or a business that they're working for, a phone number so that people can reach them, an email address so that people can also reach to them in a different way. And sometimes they'll have an image or a picture. That image might be an image from their business. It might be something related to the job that they do. Or maybe they'll even just have a picture of themselves. All business cards look a little different. So these are some examples of business cards. Let's take a look and see if we notice what to, what to include. So notice this is Kenson Brothers. They have their logo or their design on one side of the card. And then on the other side of the card, the company name or business name is at the top. The person who is the director, Jason Hargreaves, his name is right above it. He has his phone number, his email, and an address to the company. On the next one, we see Elise Brady. That must be the company name. So it's on the back. 
just like this first one, it's also on the front. And then we see Laura Atkins, sales manager. She has her phone number, email address, a website, and the address to the company. Then we have James Smith, sales manager. I'm not sure what the company is for this person because I don't see a company name, but I do see their website and email address and phone number. Okay, and then we have Joe the plumber. He has a fun image here of a superhero plumber. That might be his child or a person he knows. <laughs> and we see Joe the plumber to the rescue with his phone number, fax number, and, and what well, looks like an email. So see, you can make your business cards more professional, more uh, formal. It can also be still professional, but more fun. Then we have colorful kids, a creative approach to child care. Notice this is a child painting. <clears throat> They also have an address, a phone number, and their website. So there's no right or wrong way to make a business card, but notice all of these examples have what we asked for, what we said a business card should include. So today you'll have a chance to make your own business card. Your teachers have blank templates, which are the size of about a business card. So remember what you're going to include is your name, you're going to make up a business name. So I want you to think of what you would like to do when you get older. Make up your business name. It could be anything you'd like. It could be a real business name or one that you want to create. You can include a phone number. It could be your real phone number if you want it to be. You could also just make it up. And an email. Maybe you remember your student email for your Chromebooks. You could use that or just make up something. And the image or picture, it could be a picture of yourself. It could be a picture of your company. It's really up to you, okay? And to give you one more idea, I'm going to share my business card with you all. Now, my business card, if I show you on the camera, it's actually more of a tan color. But here on the scan, it came out a little bit whiter. But well, let's take a look at mine too. And you get to see my contact information. <laughs> so we see Jefferson Elementary School District, which is our school district where I work, where we all go to school. Our logo or our business company image is this picture here. So a world with lots of different kids. Then we have my name, Nicole Ramirez. And these fancy letters are just the certificates and the credentials I have. So I have my Master of Arts in people personnel services. That's my teaching credential to be a school counselor. And then I have my job right here, school counselor. I work at Westlake Elementary School. I have our school's address here. This is my phone number to reach me. This is our fax number at our school. And then there's my email. So my business card also includes all of the information that we said a business card should include. So I really am excited to see what all of your business cards look like and what you all decide. Remember, be as creative and just have fun with it. And yeah, you'll never know. Remember, we can change our careers, but who knows, you might decide to stick with it. So I would love to see your business cards and get to know what you're interested in now and be able to compare it in the future, okay? So I will see you all again soon. Thanks for doing that with me. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.